Nothing on the map. So no today quest yet. But the other task is the blockaded district. Victor said that, that my word would suffice. Still, I think he'd appreciate it if I provided some evidence of how thorough the inspection was. I believe that a dead looter's belongings will serve this purpose just fine. To find dead looter's belongings in the blockaded district. Or just any looter. Is a looter just the guys that run around stabbing people? Nope. Vlad Olgimsky's report on sanitary precautions. Dr. Dankovsky, as of today, we are ready to provide you with the premises where you'll be able to establish a hospital, an isolation ward, and a morgue. Please see me at the lump to discuss further dis uh, details. Vlad the Heavy. Right on down there, right? Easy peasy. Now, I have two objectives. Talk to Vlad. Loot a looter. I th because it's called the Blockaded District, I think that it means go to that part on the map and find it there. But I'm not super, super sure. Should I buy more drugs right now? Let's see. Novocaine. Not hyper aware of Novocaine. I primarily know the word from a Green Day song. Give me that Novocaine. A lot of I got a lot of Meridorum for now, though. I think we can deal for now. I could use more immunity. For which I have... Do I even have drugs? I have this one. This one increases your immunity. Hmm. We'll see. I, I can always come back, too. It's hard to choose what to prioritize sometimes. Health is pretty up there. Immunity is a bit higher. Exhaustion's already creeping in. Great. Uh, top priorities are food and lump. That's a food place. Let's make a detour before I go to the lump. Because if the hunger caps out, I'm going to pay the consequences for that. And it's not going to be a good time. Also, a few dumpsters around there, so that's always handy. I'm more likely to memor memorize, uh, remember spots that have like two dumpsters right next to each other. <laughs> Go around it. Good. What the f- what? Jump. There we go. <laughs> For some reason, something gets- you just get stuck there. I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, drunk guy, please have something worth it. I'm going off- I'm going off path for you. Oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is. I think he always says that, right? Yeah. God damn it. You'd give anything, but you don't have anything. What are you reeking of, my good man? Is this, is this some kind of sap? Aye, twirene sap it is. And let me tell you, the twire gathered at the flabby mud last year had extraordinary properties. Truly extraordinary. Really? What were they? Here's what I think. An herb is like a person. Each blade has its own character. A bouquet had to be collected carefully, like a family. Bloom to bloom, and the proportion. Mind the proportion, but water is also important. You can't just take any water. Yes, tell me more about the water, my good man. What kind of water do you have here? We all live off step juices. Twire, the herb, draws its juices from the step. Sun draws its juices from the twire. So does a bull, who gives and takes away. So does a man, a sinful worm, who sucks the earth out for his needs. The juices of a body are a gift and the key to understanding everything. Do you know who's destroyed the town water pipe? No. Shady business. Everyone's been asked and no one knows. You would Who would destroy it but the one who craves our demise? 
It must have been Shabnak, the bloodsucker. I see. I see. One theory less than. Yeah, about that. It must have been Shabnak. Someone yelling over here? I'm off course now, but I thought I heard something. I think that's just the soundtrack being weird. They are they added a little <laughs> to the sound. But I thought I heard someone yelling in the distance. I'm like, is that a looter killing someone? I have a double thing going on there where like one, I want to save the guy that's being killed, and two, I want to kill the looter because they have loot on them, which now is also a quest. Bread. It's the best we can do today. And dried fish. Alright. So we do, so it is. That's half my hunger down at least. Alright, reputation's the only thing worrying me right now. And that can be rectified by doing missions, maybe. Uh, take the back road to the lump. That suffices, I guess. I've already looted the boxes around here, so I just want to take a slightly different path so I don't have to take the same path again. Every time I deviate, I might find more dumpsters and drunks. The drunks wander, of course, so that's not always related. Hey, that's probably not the same one. Maybe that one actually has something on him. I bottle so many water, so many bottles of water just for those guys, and then they don't pay off half the time anyway. I'm looking around all jumpy like because I don't know when I'll turn around and find like surprise. Oh, come on, dude. Every time I turn a corner, I'm a little worried there's going to be another murderer just there waiting for me. Alright, this is the, this is an alternate food store. I should walk in. I have more money after all. And my hunger's not that sated. So whatever I can do is good. Vegetables? Walnut? I'll buy a walnut. I think I can I'm not I'm not buying fresh stuff. That seems wasteful to me. Uh is anything especially valuable to you? Kerosene for a lamp I don't even use. Admittedly. Golden rings are 360. I just worry about the bartering value. Wow. A revolver. A revolver's worth two... About two vegetable cans. That's pretty crazy. That's a surprise to me. That those are interchangeable on that level. Did I just loot these? Doesn't hurt that much to double check. Alright, down to the lump. Um... There? That guy appears to be there. How much has the quarantine zone moved? It's gotta be spreading like crazy, that's bad news. I don't have the updated map. But it's, I, I'm getting the feeling it's not gonna be an encouraging one. How much was the map last time? Was it like a thousand? Because if it's expensive, I might not be willing to pay for it. Because that sets me back. And I'm tied on everything right now. I may just try to do it with memory or rumor.
Why do you have a picture of the guys that are apparently like a problem around here as you're painting? Stupid whelps. And my horror specs too. He could have talked them out of this. They could have lived. Greetings, honorable doctor. Our job is almost done. Are you satisfied? Depends on how well you've done it. Well, we uh, we did well. Though it was a challenging task, the so-called Waste House has, has proved to be an ideal location, so we've cleared it up to refashion it into a morgue. As for the isolation ward, it will be found at the Ravels. What about the hospital? The hospital is almost ready to be opened. I'm not sure there's much sense to it, unlike the morgue. Everyone has already admitted the disease to be, hmm, the sand pest. We've chosen one of the standard houses. You'll like it. Hopefully no one was deprived of a roof over their heads, were they? Of course not. We wouldn't be so harsh as to drive people out of their homes. Even in case of an emergency. Don't worry, doctor. There isn't a single soul living in that house. Obviously, it's not one of the houses that were infected yesterday, is it? Well, actually it is. Nevertheless, we've made a most peculiar observation. Why why is it he's why he's the one telling me this? This is weird. There isn't a single trace of infection in these houses today. We've learnt it by chance. Thanks. I, all that risking myself and and struggling just to just to have a piece of information happen that they're gonna everyone's gonna know anyway without me. <laughs> We've learned it by chance, to, thanks to marauders. They stock these places with no antibiotics whatsoever. Victor Kane would like to discuss this matter with you. Discuss the marauders, exterminating them is Sabrov's duty. And he seemed to have enlisted every person who can hold a weapon for the job. That would be the people we could use to perform sanitary work. I'm no less annoyed than you, but no. Victor wanted to discuss the blocked off districts. He seemed to have grand ideas regarding them and seeking your advice. I'm a bit concerned that guy seemed to be, seemed to be setting up a quarantine zone that was like south of... It was like south of Sabarov's base. Does that mean that Sabrov currently has plague to the north and south, so he's just surrounded? How good is that one fence at keeping him safe? Sure, I'll talk to him. Just do not rush to use the houses you have arranged, before, uh, arranged for before I examine them. I need to be sure everybody, uh, everything meets my requirements. Wait, I need to inspect that building. That's Lara's house. This is the in this was infected yesterday. That's Lara's house. That's a different place. And that's where the morgue will be. Okay. Yeah, neither of those spots were infected yesterday. Am I missing something? I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something. I thought he said they were infected yesterday. The girl is fine, but the boy... <laughs> My compliments, the boy dear doctor. Terrible. Unfortunately, they're quite useless. <laughs> the doctor might be a dick. Just... Just going on a limb here. He may not be the most likable individual. The options I have for responding to people are so pointlessly uh, rude in many cases. To the point where they're so common, I can only assume uh, that they're just part of its character. I think uh, I've been reading the Witcher novels, and I think like there's something that just comes up enough that I'm just like at some point I'm like I guess this is just parts of part of Geralt's character is that. On a regular basis, he encounters people where his response to them is to, I think the exact quote is, grin nastily. And I'm like, I'm, the more time they use that phrase in the books, the more I try to like, imagine exactly what that means, because it's a little, oh shit, the plague's here now. 
That's not good. Grin nastily is not a phrase I'm used to hearing. But I can kind of imagine some of it. The isolation house is at the plague zone? I guess that makes some sense. I'm gonna try to skirt it as long as I put as I can. I guess you can take people directly from the You can take whoever's still not sick or not dead yet. And you can take them to the plague zone. Uh, I mean, out of the plague zone into the isolation house, and then you could see if they survive, and then they can be reintroduced to society, but not you can't- as opposed to, like, letting them run free. Makes some sense. Oh, that's the one. Click. You know what? It's a new day, and I don't think I've made a new save today. I almost did new- new game instead of new save. That would be a problem. It's always the same collection of people. Clara doesn't look well. She's pale and disheveled. Poor child, she's so tired. I'm so glad nothing bad happened to you yesterday. Is it true you're planning to host an isolation war? Do you realize what that entails? I didn't have a choice. Didn't have a choice, why? I had to do it to protect the privacy of certain information, the good name of a certain person, and most likely the life of another one depend to depend on it. Uh, surely that's reason enough. Forgive me, it's uncomfortable for me to talk about it. Tell me. No. Enough questions, please. I've already told you more than I should have. Fine. Have it your way. It's tough. But that's what it has to be done. Then that's fine. I'll make do. But there won't be too many patients. Even fewer of them strangers. But we're out of water. We need to arrange for it to be delivered. Vlad the Younger can help with that. He knows the local water supply chain, like the back of his hand. Wait, you have no water? How is that possible? Well, it's not running anymore. I don't know why. The pipes are empty. They produced rusty, clotted liquid of reddish color for a while. But then it was gone too. Who can sort this out? Perhaps Vlad the Younger could be of help. He's been making himself busy with water pipes, wells, and the likes for years. I think it's personal. He treats water as if it was liquid gold, and procures it just as eagerly. Alright, I'll talk to him about it. You can forcefully tell them not to set the isolation ward up. My heartbeat is uneven. It's uh, not super ideal, but we kind of have to just go for it. I think I have to ignore my character's warnings that he directs at himself about... Oftentimes about the idea of uh, like best case scenarios and all that and setting- doing things right. I think in many cases I just have to commit to the idea of just going. Like, just go and hope for the- and just shoulder the blame and the responsibility and try to deal with it myself. Huh. This is early. Yeah, this is the- this is today's main quest. So, Vlad the Younger, top pro top priority. This is not a side thing. And there's the blockaded district. Look, looking for the remains of looters. I don't know. Are they going to prioritize Vlad the Younger, maybe? Oh, quick save. There is... Yeah, there's a zone right here. If I can safely find the remains of a looter... Woo, boy! Did that get me? I don't think so. Fuck. Immunity's down a little bit, isn't it? Oh, Jesus! Fuck. 
fuck off. God damn. Yeah, I'm not ready for this right now. You know what? I'm gonna talk to Vlad. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Just gonna wander off. What a dick move, by the way. The game will just, like, send a plague cloud flying at you like it's a goddamn car in traffic. I'm like, I'm a normal human. I can't walk fast. Why are you such an asshole? Alright, so down to Vlad. Jesus. And it'll give me some nice, uh... Some nice open time for me to go looting along the way. And hopefully find more drunks, because... Some some medication would definitely help. I mean the uh not medication, the the bandages. I believe I can walk along the side path here. Save me some time. Yeah, this side of the channel has the road. Uh oh, or not. Crap. Uh... It's just a bush, it's fine. Really? <laughs> oh, this game and its paths. What's incredible is it feels... A lot of it feels intentional. I feel like there's a lot of really irritating dead ends that are intentionally in the game because you're panicking and charging everywhere rapidly and trying to maintain a schedule and get as much done as you can in a little time as possible and the whole both your survival and the towns all kind of rely on you being able to consistently run places on time so we're by the theater again I don't think the containers will have stuff in them right? I don't fully remember. On the way... I would have looted them on the way out, right? On the way in, I had to run past the murderer, but I think on the way out, I would have looted them all. There's a child. Children. Children, do you have dialogue for me? What's with the disgusted expression? Yuck, the river water stinks. I wonder why. Do elaborate, are you saying it's abnormal? Of course! We've got a very clean river here. The girls and I even drank directly from it. But recently water has become filled with fish scales and the pollution's so thick as if someone's mixed in this substance there on purpose. You know, you put your arm into the water and when it's out, it looks like a mermaid tail, all scaled. And now it stinks too. What is like someone like chumming fish? Like on a huge scale? Well, what do you know? Raid. Bullets! Not the good type, either. And then other bullets that I also don't want, really. No dialogue for man. Man is just here to be in the crowd. He has no distinguish distinguishing characteristics, he doesn't trade, and is otherwise useless. But he is... man. Really, the sheer number of people you constantly see running around in the streets really shows that our attempts at, uh, at quarantine are doomed. All I do all day, seemingly, is warn people to stay indoors, and all I'd see is people not staying indoors. Funny, that. Oops. This entire... Courtyard's like a strange, like, lifesaver. It's so helpful. Wow, that's startling. What's wrong with you? Uh, what? Want to know what will happen to the Ripper? And what will happen? He will heal the god, and then the grief for the loss will break him. That's because a very pretty lady will fall in love with him shortly, and right now he's crafting the tool for execution. Wait, 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 why? What execution? He has no choice. He wants to help everyone, and he is actually not a ripper. He, he is a Horuspex. He's a lot like you, honest and kind. Maybe he's your brother? I'm not kind. 
<laughs> I'm not kind. No elaboration on, on why he was shocked to look at me, by the way. That just didn't come up. What are bullets worth for you that much? Sure. He's a Haruspex. I don't know what a Haruspex is. I know you can play as a Haruspex. It's a word that doesn't mean anything to me. And I don't know if I'm supposed to know what it means or if it's uh, an in-universe word. As opposed to a word that's just a different language or just one I... It maybe even be, might be my language but I've never heard of it. Because Bachelor and Changeling are both titles. Bachelor is more specifically a title of some sort whereas Changeling is... An otherworldly description of a creature. And yet there she is, being her. I imagine our water supplies are not going to be making positive progress. They seem to be all going down in quality and becoming less common. This one does work. This guy's got two water supplies by him. I guess it makes sense because I'm about to try to uh, get him to deliver water. And he has multiple water supplies right here. What? A rough crowd. Demands rough measures. I sincerely hope he won't get it into your head that I'm enjoying this. How come there's no water in the town? The, the town's water supply has been sabotaged and ruined. To be more precise, we've lost the purifying system on the water intake that supplies water from the, Grok the Gorkhorn to people's homes. How'd that happen? The local blockheads, egged on by some overly active taskmaster, destroyed the water supply to prevent infection infected water from getting into the town. Can you see it now? I'm telling you, the crowd is rough. What started the rumor the infection's waterborne? Simple minds need no explanations. They need someone to cry wolf, and there you have it. Hysteria is the best justification for believing in any mi madness. Very well, other than res residential property, what other options are there? If I were you, I'd seize the cathedral and the theater as soon as possible. Those buildings have access to spring water. Although, with dangerous zealots popping up, the town's springs are to be feared for as well. Who knows what th who what those idiots will think up next. Are you planning to find them, by the way? Of course. They're very likely to be hiding in the same dens as the runaway rebels. Which does, by the way, give you food for thought. But never, the never mind that. In any case, it would make sense to speak with Aspidy. It would be rather disappointing to die of thirst while everyone is busy dying of the sand plague. Let's do our best to make sure nobody dies of thirst. I'll order to start arranging water deliveries and post guards at the Sugag Kadug Spring. It won't be enough for the whole town, but it's better than nothing. You should hurry up and seize the springs at Stone Yard and Spinny Yarn Square. That is, the cathedrals and the theater's springs. Let's do it then. So he's saying go to those spots. The cathedral and theater are both nearby. Aspie's in the opposite direction though. Yeah. It's not great. I need to seize these locations. Great. How are we doing on money? 2479. They say you saw some significant success yesterday. So random antibiotics really can help against the sand fever? How's the distribution of drugs do of going? Why is there still no medicine in this town? The drugs were confiscated two days ago. Turned out to be outdated. Moreover, many are expired and now harmful. Many are probably useless. We will check every drug today. Those that actually prove effective will be put into distribution immediately. How will the tests be conducted? I've found some people with a death wish. Those are desperate people on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And so I have tasked several young ladies, whom you probably know, with supervising the tests. They are Evian, Yulia, Lyracheva, Anna Angel, and Laura Ravel. They'll report the results tonight. 
Why haven't you told me anything? You were very busy yesterday, and we spent the whole day inspecting and writing down the requisition stockpiles. Today, as you can see, I'm informing you of my plans. Don't worry, Bachelor, this is the best possible course of action. Or do you have a better one? I do. I'll take the drugs from the, from, from the young ladies and test them myself. Hopefully you can trust my words just as well. The young ladies offered their help voluntarily, with the task that I believe to be the least dangerous. I doubt they'd prefer to test the drugs themselves instead of sending death seekers into infected districts. And if they will, woe well, is us then. Maybe there's little time. Maybe there's still time to change their minds. But bachelor, if they do conduct the test themselves, we can at least be certain of their failure or success. How so? Hmm. Our kind of volu our kind of volunteers are prone to, f to. Oh, I was I was implying like our kind of volunteers, so I was misreading it entirely. Our kind of volunteers are prone to foul play. I've had reports of the kind of talks happening between them. Honestly, if they vanish, I'll be convinced that they just made off with the pills. Then why entrust them with such an important task? Don't worry. Trust the young ladies, and me. Even if something goes wrong, we will only lose a few hours. But we don't have an hour to lose. So Anne is testing dubious medicine, the misguided decision I've ever seen one. Great. Uh, and Yulia. There's so much going on here. I'm supposed to talk to Aspidy about the, about the enemies, or... No, I'm sorry. I talked to Aspidy about the water supply. Visit this about the... Because this, this is supposed to be where the, uh... Morgue is going to be. Here and here are springs I'm supposed to seize. And here and here are people that are going to test drugs that they shouldn't test. Nothing will... Nothing good will come of it. Oh, boy. We're going to be busy here. All right. Did you hear that? Did it come from inside the well? 2479. How can All one right. avoid being infected? He's hearing sounds from the well is concerning. 1,000 for a map. I don't think that's worth it. Come for it later. I don't think it's totally worth it to pay 1,000 for a map. It seems handy, but like, goddamn, I, that, that was eating into my supplies yesterday. Now I have to worry about food and drugs and so on. I think I, I think I'll just go on memory.